In 2018, the Australian Government will open a major new interpretive centre in France, honouring Australian service and sacrifice in France and Belgium in the First World War. To be known as the Sir John Monash Centre, this very quiet building will tell the story of the extraordinary efforts of the 290,000 Australians who served the Allied cause on the Western Front with such distinction. The existing Australian National Memorial at villers bretonneux in the Somme district in northwestern France is widely regarded as the most important Australian memorial on foreign soil. Designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens and dedicated in 1938 in the presence of King George VI, this has since been a place of profound significance to the commemoration and remembrance of Australia's contribution to the First World War. The new Sir John Monash Centre will rest gently beside the memorial, complementing both its form and function. Paramount to its design is the way in which it complements Lutyens unifying geometry. From the new car park, visitors approach the Stone of Remembrance, where they are silently greeted by more than 1,500 graves of the fallen, whose headstones stand sentinel in the cemetery. The journey continues up through the villers bretonneux Military Cemetery, past the Cross of Sacrifice, and on to the Australian National Memorial. Luchin's intended terrace paths are finally built, so completing the memorial on which are inscribed the names of more than 10,700 Australians who died in France during the First World War and who have no known grave. The Somme Valley battlefields can be seen from the Memorial's Tower, a lasting tribute recommended by General Sir John Monash. The proposed design respects this view by roofing the new centre with a simple meadow, a floating field representing the Australian contribution to the shared tragedy of the First World War. From the memorial, visitors will continue their journey via the twin pavilions, as if guided by luchens down the entry ramps. The trench-like experience of the entry draws you downward towards dark and sombre entry chambers. Once in the foyer, a place of orientation, a stream of light from the central oculus draws your gaze towards the memorial's tower. The Sir John Monash Centre will offer visitors a leading edge multimedia experience which tells the story of Australia's involvement in the First World War. Galleries provide the visitor with a range of immersive, interactive and informative displays which tell the story of Australia before the war and the reasons why Australia went to war, where and when Australia fought on the Western Front, and how its contribution on the battlefields contributed to the eventual Allied victory, the distinctive character of the Australian Imperial Forces, and the experiences of the men and women who served on the Western Front. The centrally located immersive gallery at the heart of the centre envelops the visitor and features two dramatic and emotive narratives which tell the stories of Monash and the Battle of Le Hamel and Australia's three years of war on the Western Front. The impact of the war on those who served their country, Australia and their families. Once back in the foyer, visitors continue their axial journey eastwards through a darkened space that leads past the cafe and multi-purpose space towards the rising sun emblem and into the light-filled courtyard. This is a simple quiet space where one can reflect on the Australian experience of war. Visitors leave the centre by ascending a generous staircase at the eastern edge of the site to look towards the site of John Monash's famous victory at Le Hamel and to discover the battlefields of the Somme as they are today, restored and peaceful. With your journey through the Sir John Monash Centre complete, visitors will return via the mown paths filled with a sense of quiet pride and sorrow. Pride in the extraordinary efforts of ordinary Australian men and women and sorrow for the price paid by their nation and its families.